Now, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess. So let's get into it. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a quick episode of Yes for the Mess, okay? Now, I just got home from work a little over an hour ago, okay? Y'all already got four videos today. Now, y'all getting a fifth. And y'all gonna get a six because of the growing up hip hop review that I gotta do tonight, okay? So y'all finna get all the videos y'all need. So while I was at work, I was sent this situation in regards to Giselle and Robin, okay? And um, they had a lot of heinous things to say about James Harden's beard on their um sleep aid ass podcast. Now, before we even get into any of that, you know I can't start no video off without getting into the promotions of what I got coming up on this channel. So let's get into the promotions first and then we're gonna commence the dragging. Let's get into it. <laughs> And those were two of the things that I have coming up. Now, the first thing is first, the Whether You Like It or Not Season 3 panel, which will be discussed in the Housewives of Atlanta and Basketball Wives, will be returning this spring. And it will be starring Scotty by Nature TV, Giving You the Real Tea, Josiah's World TV, Yapertees, Really Be TV, Simply Sakina, and introducing Brandy Chanel. We will be returning this spring. Real Housewives of Atlanta is coming back on May the 1st, so more than likely the panel will be back on May the 2nd because we don't know when Basketball Wives coming back. So right now we're going to say that the panel will be returning in May, okay? And the next thing is next is the influence, which will feature myself and my cousin Reggie. Um, for those of you who watched the panel last season, he, he was a pop-up guest on there. This will be my musical column. It will be coming out every weekend. It will be a 10-week show. It will be 10 episodes, so be on the lookout for that. So what you really need to be looking out for next week is Roasted Review. Yes, Josiah, Terrence, and myself will be coming back together as the Holy Trinity for Roasted Review. We will be back to discuss Candy and the Gang as well as Love and Mary Chansville. We will be turning... We will, uh, we will be returning for the first time on March the 9th at 8, 7 Central right here on Scotty by Nature TV. But let's not forget now, be sure to subscribe to all three of us because this will be a rotating panel. So it'll start here, then it will be going to Terrence and then Josiah, then back over here. We will be rotating this panel. So be sure to... um. Be sure to subscribe to all three of us. And there is a playlist for Roasted Review, too. So in case you ever miss an episode, it will be right there on the playlist right here on my channel. So be on the lookout for Roasted Review. We start right back up on March the 9th at 8, 7 Central. Also, the Boys Night Out will be returning soon. Uh, but first things first, the um, Getaway Vlog comes out next week. Okay, it comes out next week. And then right after that vlog comes out, we'll be back together again for another episode of Boys Night Out, and then we will commence to finishing the second season. And then after the second season is finished, we'll take a one to two month um, hiatus before we start back on season three. So be on the lookout for that as well, okay? Now, that's pretty much it for all the promotions of all the things that I got coming up on my channel. So we're about to go ahead and get into a couple of things here. Now, we're about to talk about these three people right here, Giselle, Robin, and James Harden, okay? Now, apparently on their podcast today, they was talking about James Harden's um, beard, and they were making disparaging remarks about his beard. And um, I don't think anybody appreciated that because, uh, baby, <laughs> they've been getting ate up on Twitter, okay? they People have been eating them up. People have been sending me stuff left to right. But before we get into anything else, let's get into what they actually said on um, the podcast. Let's get into it. James Harden. Yes. Going from the Nets to the Sixers. But do the Sixers really know that's James Harden? Because <laughs> no one can see his face. 
because that beard is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. The other day, I was like, who is this dude? Oh, this is Harden. But how would you know? That beard is like down to his knees. There's <laughs> fried chicken in the beard. You know, it's so bad. I'm so used to it. I don't even notice it anymore. I, I want, but like that beard look is, is gone. Are, are we done with that? I don't think so. I, I, Listen, no, his is clearly horrible. not. Yeah, yeah. He he clearly loves his beard. He does. I want it to be gone. I just hope he, it's sanitary. You know? Anytime I see them, I automatically know and feel in my gut that there's fried chicken in yeah. his beard. <laughs> fried chicken grease. Watermelon. There's some, being racist. There's some um, Colt 45 <laughs> in there. Oh, no, watermelon. Now nah, 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 I'm being real racist. This is horrible. Let me just stop while I'm ahead. Colt 45. But James Harden, I beg there's some you. Blunts, definitely some blunts. It's some blunts. Some oh, it's, the, the whole thing smells like weed. I know it does. Okay, I don't even know if he smokes weed. We're, we're really sorry. And those were the disparaging, ignorant things that these two whack ass bitches said on their podcast in regards to James Harding. Now, I'm going to read a couple of tweets that, I've, that I see right now on my timeline. Okay, I'm going to read them. I'm going to read them. Let me put my phone on silent real quick so y'all won't have to hear this phone go off. Now, the first tweet that I see on top is from my girl, Bundy Blue. She said, Giselle and Robin making watermelon fried chicken weed jokes about James Harding. Mm. Ashley Miller says, Robin and Giselle, I'm not even surprised by them saying that about James Harden. Just ignorant as hell, okay? First of all, shout out to the Grace Report, first of all, because she put this out here, I believe, okay? Next thing you know, someone else says, ooh, Giselle and Robin podcast talking about James Harden has hit the main blocks. I swear people mess up their own bags. Someone else says, replace Giselle and Robin with two White Housewives. Let them say the same stuff they said. You still laughing? Mm, okay? Um... Someone said, Robin and Giselle being colorist and prejudiced. No. Someone said, remember when Robin Dixon got mad at Katie for saying she's a white woman just, just to take an ancestry test to find out that she's in fact a white woman? Giselle is a basic colorist, Jack and Jill alone. We been new. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. All righty then. All right. Um, Giselle and Robin ain't even worth it. We keep saying that they were colorists and lames and y'all said we were crazy. Most definitely. Okay. Um, someone said Giselle and Robin would definitely be trying to pass if this would definitely trying to pass if this was the 1920s. Okay. Then someone said they talking all this shit. Robin, you got to split rent with a man who can't stand you and Giselle, honey, let's be serious. Then someone says, um, let me see. Let me see. Y'all better light fire under Robin and Giselle's ass for that stupid ass comment, just like you do every other housewife. Then someone else said Giselle and Robin's comments on their podcast about James Harden were terribly disgusting. And the fact that they presented it to the world themselves as comedy honestly shows how truly tone deaf they are, especially when their kids do not share their same light skin privilege. So those were a couple of tweets that I just read on my Twitter account. Those were the top tweets that I saw on my Twitter account, okay, on my timeline, okay? Now, um, not only did people on Twitter have some things to say, but, a, but two of their co-stars said something as well on Twitter. First things first, Wendy Osefo said, child, what was said? And I'm like, girl, I got the same damn reaction you got. I got the same reaction you got. What was said, child? What was said, honey? What was said? And also, Candace came in and said, Woo, child. Okay. So, those were the two people that had something to say. And those are the two people that I expected to have something to say in regards to this. Now, this is what I'm going to say. And I'm not going to stay on this shit for too long because these bitches been disgusting to me. But y'all be, y'all swear. Y'all swear I'm just a woman hater when it comes down to Potomac. Y'all get so serious and so sensitive about it. But I'm just going to say what I got to say about it. These two bitches, and I'm going to say bitches because it's disrespectful. Bitches. The same way they disrespected James Harden by saying that stupid ass, racist ass shit. I'm going to be disrespectful and call these two heifers some bitches. And I don't give a damn who gets upset about it. These two bitches with the light skin privilege had the nerve to sit up here and make these jokes and think that it's funny and think that it's coming and think that they're going to get away with it. No, y'all are under fire for being so damn ignorant. So ignorant, so ignorant. And you think that that shit is cute. And then Robin, are we being racist? Are we being racist? Yes, bitch, you are. You must definitely be in racist. You sound like a damn racist. Girl, are you serious? But we've been calling y'all asses out for y'all colorist ass behaviors and the shit that y'all be saying in these undertones you bitches got. We've been calling you out on it. Some of your fans don't want to hear that, but I'm going to always call y'all two out all the time because I can't stand you hoes. And we're just being real about that. I can't stand you hoes, period. Can't stand you. 
at all. So I'm going to always be the one to call you out on it. But I just want to know what the hell is really going on here. What made you guys think to say some stuff like that? What even made y'all think that this was, that was even going to fly? What made y'all think that that was ever going to be funny? Y'all fucking up your own bags. Now, you set up here, y'all was nominated for an NAACP award. How are you going to be nominated for an NAACP award, but you sit up and you say some racist ass, trifling ass shit like this? Let's just be 100% real about the situation here. Let's just be real about the situation. Like, really? Y'all was sitting up here bragging about these 2 million listeners. Now, what's going to happen next? Because I don't see nobody else listening to this bullshit after what the fuck y'all just said. Because cause that wasn't even called for. That was stupid. Okay, you don't like his beard. Okay, cool. But why say fried chicken, watermelon, and weed? Like, do you not know how the hell that shit sounds? That shit sounds suspect as fuck. Okay? You are tone deaf bitches, period. And I said it. And if you guys want to come up in here with this black women, y'all disrespecting black women. You a black woman hater. All this shit today, I don't give a damn about it. Because you see what the y'all ain't saying about what the fuck they just said. So I don't care about disrespecting these hoes. They disrespected him as a black man by saying it. Fried chicken, watermelon, grease, uh, gas, all that dumb shit. Do you know how the hell that sounds? Why would you even use that same type of shit, racial undertone that people use when they're talking about us? How could you do that? That's so stupid. Low down to the ground, just dumb. But that's really all I got to say about this. I told y'all I wasn't going to stay on this for too long because they're not going to run my blood pressure up. So for those of you who are just now tuning in, be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Be sure to click the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, my Twitter and my IG will definitely be down below in the com in the description box. If you want me to follow you back on IG, all you got to do is hit me up in the IG DMs and I would definitely follow you back. All you got to do is hit me up in the DMs by saying hashtag team scotty that lets me know that you're a part of the crew with that being said you guys your boy scotty is out of here until my next video i'll holler at you later